Islamic art has been expanding since the 7th century. Starting in the Middle East, these prints and patterns have found their way to East London. Hackney has become a vibrant hotspot for diversity, a place to celebrate a mixture of cultures and backgrounds. Twelve ladies have come together to challenge common misconceptions of Islamic women. The exhibition Manifesting the Unseen is taking place at Guest Projects, a pioneering gallery offering free project space to any creative for up to one month. Testing the grounds for new thoughts and actions, this became a place to confront misunderstandings about Muslim women. I hope it's influential to women artists, Muslim women, women in general. So on every layer, I hope it has an impact because we don't live in our little isolated bubbles of our demographic. We live in a really mixed world. And I, all, I often think, you know, when I look at the cross-section of people in a workshop, it's many ages, many backgrounds, Muslim, non-Muslim, everything. And it has a positive impact on all of them. And so if in capturing that you have positive impact on, say, the Muslim girls of, the, you know, younger ones, 18 to 25, that is superb. But I think it's bigger than that because art connects with people you know beyond these sort of uh, kind of circles and bubbles that we put ourselves in definitely a nationwide survey led by the polling agency ipos mori found young muslims are becoming more liberal under 29 year olds views are changing with 80 percent having a more accepting attitude towards homosexuality and diverse friendships and relationships East London takes pride in diversity, from Hackney Art Galleries to Goldsmiths University, which has a total of 38.1% of BME students, compared to the national average of higher education institutions of just 33%. The Mayor of London has also said he wants to pull out all the stops to improve ethnic diversity in London. He went on to say, the arts has the potential to completely transform the future of BME young people. Beck Ryman, ELL.